that became to like all these crazy horror movies. I remember watching Predator 2 for the first time and seeing that scene with the girl on top of the guy in that window and going, oh my goodness, this is like all the blood. I, I saw the gate that way the first time as a yeah, kid. Yeah, so, loved that um, one. Just oh, that's grew up, awesome. Grew up with and it. So, and so your horror education began. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, let me, let me talk to your partner in crime, Reese Evershan over here. Uh, how's it going, my man? It's going great, man. I Like I said, you, you kind of hit the nail on the head in the beginning there. Thank you for getting us all together to hang out. It's kind of nice. We've been denied that this year, um, yeah. you know, for obvious reasons. But, uh, you know, since we finished shooting the film back in October of 2019, but we never had a chance to get together and hang out, and we still haven't. We haven't had like an official premiere together. None of us have watched it together. Mm. Uh, it's been strictly this for the last year. And I mean, it will do, but I feel like we're being denied something with this. So mm. thank you very much for kind of putting in this, in this situation and supporting us and, uh, you know, ultimately getting this film out because we're very proud of it and we're happy to be here. So well, you should be. And yeah, I mean, I feel like this is the least we can do. I mean, you know, and we're all feeling down about not having film festivals. I mean, that, I think that's one of the things that, you know, those of us who are in the industry as filmmakers or as journalists, you know, the, the festival scene, the convention scene is part of what, what keeps us inspired. And it has to be a little disheartening not to be able to, you know, experience it with the crowds and the lights and things like that. But, uh, you know, if this is the least we can do, we're happy to do it. But the feedback we've gotten is that, you know, just bringing you guys together for a panel can can really be a, a, an approximation that, that makes us feel good. And, you know, these times are temporary and uh, we, it, it still doesn't mean we're any less excited about For the Sake of Vicious. All films, they've they've pretty much dictated every step of my life. I came from, uh, if you're Canadian, Edmonton, Alberta. And when I was a kid, to me, Edmonton was the furthest away from any sort of filmmaking life. So the dream just seemed impossible. Um, but like I said, pretty much virtually every life decision of mine has been based on that. When I saw Jurassic Park, I wanted to train dinosaurs. <laughs> when I saw Free Willy, I'm like, I can do that. I want to train some whales. And then at a certain point, I don't know when, I just thought, you know, I really like writing movies and I want to get into it. And it's something that I've, I've loved ever since I was a kid. And um, I mean, speaking specifically to horror films, uh, my, my, uh, my christening, if you will, was George Romero's Day of the Dead that mm. I saw at an uncomfortably young age. I, we had like a mom and pop video store just down the street. I would go rent movies. Uh, and I saw that original media cover with 